Hey guys, it's John here. Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to talk to you about Instagram auto posting schedulers. So I spent the whole of last week testing out loads of different apps and I've narrowed it down to my favorites. I want to make sure these apps are both compatible on iPhone and Android and it's a bonus if you can do it on the web as well. I wanted to do this because if I upload something to be auto posted, it allows someone else to review the content I've uploaded before it gets posted. For example, if I had an iPhone and my friend had an Android, it would be great if they could upload photos and then I could review them, add some tags and decide when they get posted. This is great because you can categorize things and do it on the go, maybe do a batch of posts all in one and then just set them up to go out when you need them. It makes it super convenient if someone else can edit the tags or change the filter or maybe move it to another day if they wanted to. Also, I should mention the apps that I found here are free. You do not need to pay for them, but there is a paid subscription model to the app, which you don't really need unless you're a proper business trying to do really well on Instagram. To start off, I'm gonna talk about the online apps that I found. These will allow you to upload your photo to the app online, which will allow it to be auto posted and scheduled. Later on, I'll talk about some offline apps, which you can't auto post, but it can send you a notification telling you when to post. All you have to do then is go into the app and manually post it yourself. You can create the drafts in the app. I'll explain all of this later. Let's get into the video. The first app I have to show you is called Plan. It's got a lot of features, but most importantly, it can do 30 free auto schedule posts a month. Let's take a quick look at the app and see what it can do. I'm gonna show you the features that I like and use, but I'm not gonna go over everything because that'll just make this video way too long. Right, so the homepage is laid out in a similar way to your Instagram. This is where you'll be adding your posts and setting them up to schedule. It's pretty straightforward to do. All we need to do is press the plus button on the bottom right. We can open our albums and select a media source from there. I'll just grab something from my phone uh, and my food album. Once that's uploaded, you'll be able to see the status of the post by looking on the top right. At the moment, it shows a purple little line or triangle, whatever it is, and that means we haven't done anything with it yet. So to edit it, it's easy enough. We just tap on it and we go into editing. This is where we can easily add a description and add hashtags. Speaking of hashtags, they're a pain in the ass to keep copy and pasting for your notepad or writing them down all the time. So this app tackles it by creating things called hashtag sets. To access hashtag sets, we can go to the homepage and on the bottom there'll be a hashtag. You can just simply create one here and then as you create them, you can just fill them in with the most commonly used tags so you don't have to keep copying and pasting from other apps. When we go back to our photo now, instead of typing the hashtags out or pasting them in from a different app, we can just press the hashtag on the bottom of the screen and it will pop up our hashtag sets. From here, we can just select where we want and it'll automatically paste in all of our favorite sets. This makes it really convenient and saves a lot of time. Now for the main part, auto scheduling posts. This is why I was looking to these apps in the first place and why I wanted them. While we're editing the post, we can see at the bottom it says schedule. And if you press it, it'll pop up the schedule menu. It has some super helpful information at the top, letting me know my best times to post or when my audience is most active. I'm not too sure, but I think it reads your analytical data from Instagram and gauges the best times to post from that. Other than that, we have a big calendar with the option to choose a time below. Once you have chosen the date and time, just press save on the top right and your post will now be scheduled to go on that exact date at that exact time. As you can see, that's pretty quick and easy to do. It doesn't take long at all. Back of the home screen, you can see that it's queued by the A symbol on the top right of the photo. Don't forget that you can also add effects and filters while editing the post, but I don't bother with that. If you're interested in seeing statistics, you can go to the bottom of the screen and go to the results tab. It's pretty nice to see some stats here, but it's pretty basic and doesn't show anything over a week, unless you pay for it. I actually have found a better app that tracks your statistics, so I'll show you that later in the video. Another useful feature is the reply tab on the bottom. You can reply to people's comments in a similar way as you would on Instagram. Keeping followers engaged is important, so it makes sense to have a dedicated section to interacting with them. For those who are interested in the pricing of the app, it's actually £100.99 for a year. Again, you probably don't need this unless you're a business who's trying to do really well on Instagram. Planoli is the next app I'm going to show you. It's pretty similar to Plan, but with dark mode. Creating a post is just as easy as the previous app. We just need to tap the plus at the bottom and we can add some media. You can see this app allows me to have a total of 33 posts a month. If you're smart about it, you can combine this app with Plan and you'll be able to get 60 free auto-scheduled posts a month. Right away you can see albums, so I'll go into my food one and select one of those. 
Similarly to the previous app, there will be an icon displayed in the top left of our post, letting you know the status of it. Right now you can see a U, which means it's uploaded, but we haven't done anything with it yet. The auto posting works in one of two ways. You can either get it to auto post for you, or you can get it just to send you a notification, which you can then manually post it yourself. If the photo is too large for Instagram, it'll let you know and it'll offer you to crop it. The crop tool is quite intuitive actually, and you can just crop it to what size you need and it'll post from there. As you can see from the homepage now, it's actually got a different icon letting us know that it's scheduled. Other useful features in this app is that there's a calendar on the bottom. If you go into here, you can quickly glance over what dates you have scheduled posts on. Analytics is something that every app should have. This one's pretty basic with some information grouped by week, month and year. There's also a section to review comments here, but I feel like it's placed in a weird place. It's not very obvious. You have to go into your profile and then select this banner to open it. I feel like it'd be better if the bottom right tab was the comments manager and the profile with all the settings would be on your icon or your name on the top of the screen. Hashtags are tucked away in the settings. I'm not entirely sure, but I think you can add as many sets or hashtag groups as you want in this app. That's it for this one. Right, the next app I'm gonna show you is actually called Instagram Creators. This was the app developed by Meta and it's a pretty new, I think it is, but I'll show you quickly what it is. It's quite basic. You can pretty much just schedule your posts and uh, that's pretty much it. And there's some analytical data as well. I, I'll show you my computer now. Right, so Instagram creators, it's here. I will put this link in the description so you can find it easily, but basically you want to go to this website, which is business.facebook.com, weird enough, uh, and then you can log into your Instagram. Here you go, once you're logged in now, it'll basically show all your previous posts. This doesn't actually have an app on your phone, you have to use it in your browser, but that doesn't mean you can use it from any device that has internet. So it's easy enough, we can just create a post here, we want it to go to the Instagram feed, I can write whatever I want here. Uh, you can add your hashtags down here, you have to write them uh, manually. Add your location, emojis, advanced settings, turn off your commenting, add content. Let's give you a little example. I'll upload this photo of some cats. I can now go down here and schedule this post. Uh, so it doesn't go out now, I'll just put it there. Easy peasy, schedule, and you'll be able to see in a second now, after this loads. There we go, you can see I've got this post scheduled and it tells you the status of it, which is pretty good. I'm gonna actually delete that because I don't want that to go out. We do have a quick overview as well of Calendar where we can see our previous posts, when they went out and anything that is going to be posted. And Insights is always good. You can see your statistics here, your reach from your activity. It doesn't have as many features as some of the apps I've shown you, which is why I don't use this. I prefer to use Plan and Planoli because they've got a good free model, a lot more features and it's super convenient to use from my phone, especially if, as it's an app. Right, next, uh, last but not least of the online apps, I have for you Buffer. This is quite a nice app. I would say it's the best looking one, but it's not got the most features, which is why I've put it last here. Unlike the two previous apps, you don't have 33 posts, but rather the ability to queue 10 auto schedule posts at a time. Same as all the other apps, we can create a post by using the plus button at the bottom of the screen. This opens a new window where you can add a description and add an attachment, which will be your photo. Clicking next will open the posting options. I'll choose schedule post. It's pretty basic, no extra information telling you when is best to post or when your audience is most active, like planned does. The only issue I've had with this app is I've gone to the hashtag manager in the settings and it keeps telling me I need to upgrade. But when I do press the upgrade button, it's grayed out and I can't go any further. So I can't really test out the rest of the features in the app. I'm not sure why this is happening, but Oh well. So why would you pick this one over the other ones? You'd probably just pick this if you wanted a nice simple app to schedule posts for free and you weren't too bothered about hashtags or your analytical data. Now we're on to the offline apps. I have a couple of offline apps which are these. Um, I'll go over Color Story first. So Color Story is I think one of the bigger ones. It's quite high up on the app store. You've probably heard of it before. When you upload your photos to this, they are offline. So you're not uploading them to be auto-posted. So if I add an image to the app here now, 
we can go into it here and it's pretty basic. We can plan when it goes out. So we can only schedule a reminder and it'll just send you a notification, which is why I'm not too bothered about this app compared to the online ones. But there is good editing tools in here. So if you go into edit instead, you can play around with the different filters. There's quite a few free ones, but the, you see the ones here with a little plus on them. There's quite a few options in here to edit the filters of your photo, but a lot of them you have to pay to use, so it's quite subscription based. Um, you'll be able to see which ones you can't use by the plus on them. That is pretty much it for this app. Last but not least, I have a preview here for you. Now this is another offline app where I can just add some photos to the app. It's similar to a color story, but you get a lot more features for free here without paying. So I can upload an image here or something. Once it's uploaded, so just tap on the image and we get a few options down the bottom. The middle button allows you to adjust your filters and a lot of these are free. You can see you've got so many of them. But if you go here, you can see there are a couple which are premium, but there's still a lot of flexibility to it. You can do a lot of things. I'm not too bothered about this because I don't really edit my photos. I just take the photo and I upload them. So checking out the scheduling, editing the description of the app is pretty easy. You just press edit. You can write everything you want in here, add all the hashtags. This app does also support hashtag groups. So you can create your hashtags in a little group, save them, and you can add them to whatever you want. There is a finding hashtag feature in this, which does look quite good, but you can't use it unless you have premium. But there are a lot of other tools online you can use that do a similar thing anyway. If you want to schedule a post in this app, it only gives you a notification. So you can choose a date whenever and it will just ping you saying, look, you can manually post it now. I would say Preview is the better app out of the two. Um, I'd pick it over Color Story. It's got a lot of better features. Right, now for some bonus apps. Uh, this app is only on iPhone, but this is the app I use the most to track my statistics. It's called InsTrack. It's pretty good. So it's super easy to use and has a very pleasing interface. On the home page, you can see most of the important information right away, including the last three posts. If you slide along this, you can view your other previous posts. If you tap them, you can open them up and it gives you some details about it. It's also super fun to flick it away like this. This app also has a little scheduler built in, which just sends you a notification though, so I don't really bother with it. I like the first apps I showed you, which are online, that will schedule posts for you. In the analysis tab, you can see different profiles who are interacting with you the most. But the favorite section for me is the comments manager. It's not as detailed as some of the other apps that we've discussed today, but it's quick and easy and you can see your recent comments and reply from there. Goals is a nice segment to this app where you can set yourself some goals and track your progress. It makes it more fun. Another thing I like about this app is it's always popping up with congratulations when you hit your milestones and it makes you feel good about yourself for achieving them. In the audit section, you can see a detailed summary with a clean interface as well, giving you some recommendations for improving. So that was my favorite app to check out your statistics. It's nice and it's fun to use. That's why I like it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have found any other apps which might be better or some other apps have had some updates, please post it down in the comments. You might help me out or some other people who are looking for a similar app.